Well, hello everybody. This is Dr. Novak again. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, uh, the pictures that you're going to be looking at are the 125. I'm going to do a, a video on its finished product next week because then it'll be over two weeks old. But this is just some little bit of photos I took of the aquarium as it sits right now. But anyway, what I wanted to do in this video, one thing I did is find out, well, what does AI have to say about the advantages of a plenum aquarium versus a traditional substrate aquarium? You know, I thought, well, I'd find out what AI has to say. Also, how to safely grow anaerobic facultative heterotrophic bacteria in an aquarium using a plenum. And I decided both of these subjects, let's see what AI has to say. But advantages of a plenum aquarium versus a traditional substrate aquarium, comparing filtration, water quality, and maintenance. And it says a plenum aquarium features a raised platform, plenum, beneath the substrate, creating a gap of water between the aquarium bottom and the substrate. In contrast, a traditional aquarium has a substrate placed directly on the bottom. Both setups are popular in marine and freshwater aquariums, but the plenum system offers unique advantages. Now, I'm just reading to you what AI is saying. Okay, this isn't something I typed up. This is something that AI is saying. Advantages of a plenum aquarium. Enhanced biological filtration. The water-filled space under the substrate allows for anaerobic bacteria to thrive, which help in the natural breakdown of nitrates into nitrogen gas. This process can lead to improved water quality and reduce nitrate accumulation compared to traditional setups. Three, improved water circulation. Four, the plenum promotes gentle water movement under the substrate, reducing the risk of dead zones where detritus and waste can accumulate. This helps maintain a healthier substrate environment. It'll uh, stabilizing substrate chemistry. The separation between the substrate and the tank bottom allows for more stable chemical gradients, which can be beneficial for sensitive organisms and plants. Also reduces risk of hydrogen sulfide. Because of improved oxygenation and water flow, plenum systems are less likely to develop toxic hydrogen sulfide pockets that sometimes occur in deep, stagnant substrates. Support denitrification. Plenums are particularly effective in saltwater and reef aquariums where controlling nitrate levels is critical for coral and invertebrate health. Traditional substrates of aquarium bottom. Putting the substrate directly on the bottom, okay? Simplicity. I think everybody will agree to that. Very simple. Just take a bag and dump it on the bottom of the aquarium. Placing substrate directly on the bottom is straightforward and requires less initial setup and materials. I think everybody will agree to that. Cost effective. No need for additional equipment or planning, making it more accessible for beginner aquarius. Suitable for many freshwater setups. For many freshwater tanks, especially those with hardy fish and plants, the traditional substrate is sufficient. Conclusion, while both systems have their merits, a plenum aquarium can offer significant advantages in terms of biological filtration, water chemistry stability, and long-term maintenance, especially in reef or marine environments. Traditional substrate setups are easier and less expensive, but may require more frequent maintenance and monitor to prevent issues with water quality. Now that's exactly what AI is saying about plenums. That comes right from AI. Also, we're going to get into what AI is saying, how to safely grow anaerobic facultative heterotrophic bacteria in the aquarium using a plenum. Step-by-step -step guide for aquarium enthusiasts. Introduction. Anaerobic 
facultative heterotrophic bacteria play a crucial role in aquarium ecosystems, particularly in reducing nitrates and breaking down organic waste. A plenum system, an undergravel layer that promotes low oxygen zones, can provide an ideal environment for these bacteria. This guide outlines safe and effective steps to cultivate these beneficial microbes in your aquarium. Now, this is exactly what AI is saying. Understanding the basics, anaerobic facultative heterotrophic bacteria are microbes that can survive with or without oxygen and consume organic matter for energy. A plenum is a gap or chamber beneath the substrate, gravel or sand, in an aquarium. Facilitating areas with reduced oxygen, idea for for anaerobic activity. Number two, plenum setup. Choose a suitable aquarium. Ensure that the tank is established and cycled with suitable water parameters. Install the plenum. Place a plastic grid such as an egg crate or under gravel filter plate at the bottom of the tank. Cover the grid with a fine mesh to prevent substrate from falling through. Add one to two inches of coarse substrate, example, gravel, over the mesh, followed by two to four inches of finer substrate, example, sand or small gravel or plant substrate. Ensure slow water movement. The plenum zone should have minimum water flow to maintain low oxygen conditions. Avoid placing power heads or strong filters near the bottom. This is what killed the undergravel filter power heads with very strong flow. Number three, establish anaerobic conditions. Monitor oxygen levels. Test for oxygen at different substrate depth. The plenum should have lower oxygen compared to the water column, which is very true. When uh, under gravel filters came out, they were putting so much oxygen into the under gravel filter that even at the bottom, the oxygen levels of an under gravel filter were equal to that of the aquarium itself. Maintain organic matter. Feed fish moderately and avoid over cleaning. Some detritus is necessary for bacteria growth, but do not allow excess to build up. Avoid disturbing the substrate. Minimize deep substrate cleaning to preserve anaerobic zones. Now that's completely different than when you have a large substrate of what I have shown on some of my videos of how they have to keep stirring the substrate up in order to pre prevent anaerobic zones making hydrogen sulfide or converting nitrates back to ammonia. Four, inoculating and encouraging bacteria growth. Seed with live bacteria. Use established substrate or commercial bacteria starters designed for anaerobic bacteria. Most bottles that you get, like uh, Fritzine 7 or something, will provide bacteria to seed a plenum instantly, or a normal aquarium. But it will, I think, from what I have seen, that if you add like Fritzine 7, let's say, the aquarium will establish a lot faster than if you don't use a plenum. It's almost instantaneous because you're actually now, like I said, I set up my 125. I poured the Fritzine right into the substrate itself. So then it would be at the bottom of the plenum. So as soon as you start up the plenum, then that would circulate to the aquarium. I found that to be established an aquarium a lot quicker than without a plenum. That's just me. Maybe, maybe you have found it to be different. If so, leave a comment that you found it to be different. Provide a carbon source. Anaerobic heterotrophic require organic carbon. Fish waste, plant debris and uneaten food are typical sources. Monitor nitrate levels. Reduce in nitrates over time can indicate successful anaerobic bacteria activity. Five, safety tips. Avoid hydrogen sulfide buildup. 
anaerobic zones can produce toxic gases. If you detect a rotten egg smell, gently stir the substrate in a small area and increase aeration. Regular testing. Check water parameters weekly, especially ammonia, nitrate, nitrate, and pH. Let's see. Perform partial water change. Replace 10 to 20% of the water week, weekly to dilute any accumulated toxins. Now you notice it says accumulated toxins. That's why you do water changes to any toxins that have accumulated in the aquarium. Do not overfeed. Excess organic matter can lead to dangerous anaerobic conditions. Observation and maintenance. Number six, watch for signs of trouble. Cloudy water, foul odors, or distressed fish may indicate unsafe conditions. Adjust as needed. If problems arise, increase surface agitation. Reduce feeding or thin the substrate later. Conclusion, using a plenum to cultivate anaerobic facultative heterotrophic bacteria can enhance your aquarium's biological filtration and help maintain a healthy environment. Careful setup, regular monitoring, and proper maintenance are essential for safety and success. Now, this of what I have read to you on both of these subjects are exactly what AI is saying about uh, heterotrophic bacteria, facultative heterotrophic bacteria, and this is what AI is saying exactly about plenums, because I got this right from AI. This is exactly what AI is saying. So if this is what AI is saying now, because there is so much information that it can grab from the internet and books and everything else, and this is what AI is saying, then apparently we have come into a new phase in our aquariums that we could say pretty much that what I have been talking about for the past 30 some odd years, that maybe we need to rethink about when we set up our aquarium about just throwing substrate at the bottom of, aqu of aquarium. Now next week I'm going to get more in detail and show you the 125 I set up. And I'm also going to show you 125 aquariums that use a lot of sponge filters. One thing I was shocked, I went shopping the other day and I found, example, top fin, big sponge filters. You know, they, they were 20 bucks a piece. And that's for top fin, which is, I would say, an inexpensive brand out there. That's over $60 if you place three of them in a 125 gallon tank that you have just spent for sponge filters right off the bat. And I spent about $50 for under gravel plates for my 125 gallon aquarium. And I'm using the substrate that I had to put on top of the aquarium. So I didn't have to buy anything other than that. But I'll get into that more next week into the next video because the aquarium then will be over two weeks old. But anyway, I thought I would bring that up let you hear what AI is saying about factutative bacteria and what AI is saying about plenums. So until next time, this is Dr. Novak. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, happy fish keeping and thank you for watching.